for the first time in 60 years. Professional boxing is going back to Cuba. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even Cuban, but I'm super excited, man. This is crazy. This is huge news. Amazing news. Wow. I'm honest. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm just tearing up tearing, thinking about it. Just imagine. Finally, Cuba is allowing professional boxing for the first time in decades. Decades. <laughs> Crazy. The photo you guys are looking at right now is a photo of three Cuban boxers who've had a lot of success over the, over the recent years. Uh, Luis Ortiz, Jordanis Ugas, and Guillermo Rigando. Um, you know, two fight, three fighters who've had very good amateur backgrounds going into, you know, professional boxing. Fighters who left their country, they left their country of Cuba to pursue their dream of becoming a world champion and, you know, pursuing a professional career in boxing because professional boxing was not allowed in Cuba. You can do it as an amateur. Rigando is one of the, you know, one of the most successful Cuban amateurs ever. And, you know, not just in Cuba, but, you know, in the world. And uh, he left his country to become a professional. Same for Jordanis Uga, same for Luis Ortiz. And plenty more Cuban fighters have left their home country just to pursue a career in boxing. And to my understanding, they weren't allowed to go back for, for a long time. Uh, they were basically exiled from their country, from what I've read. I'm not Cuban. I, I honestly don't know all the details, but even I, I'm just a big boxing fan. But this makes me happy, man. It really makes me happy. Um, by the way, did you guys know that I forgot to make a video about it? I was in Arizona when it happened. But uh, Guillermo got, recently got into an accident where he was cooking using a pressure cooker. And I think it exploded to his face and he had to, he, he lost his eyesight or uh, uh, a big portion of his, his eyesight but th he's uh, expected to uh, to recover fully from what I've read so um, so yeah I forgot to make a video about that but still man bo all these three guys have successful careers Luis Ortiz one of the top heavyweights your Dennis Ugas has a big fight coming up against uh, Errol Spence but holy cow man I'm just really happy man I'm happy for Cuba uh, I'm happy for the Cubans uh, Cuban fight fans now I'm uh, you know, boxing in Cuba, from what I've been, you know, over the years of learning the sport and following boxers, getting to know different cultures, different get, getting to know uh, um, different countries, boxing in different countries. Um, you know, boxing is what they're like one of their main sports in Cuba, if not their main sport, where they start off as kids. Boxing and the sweet science that they learn there, it's insane. The science of hitting without getting hit. Oh man, we're about to get a lot of Cuban, more Cuban world champions in the next next years. Um, Michael Benson uh, tweeted about it. Michael Benson writes for TalkSport.com. Uh, he said, and I quote, it reads, Cuba is reportedly set to officially return to professional boxing for the first time in 60 years. It's claimed that their elite amateur talents could now make pro debuts in May this next month. What? Wow. I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy. Um, looking at box rec, uh, if you guys don't know, you can look at you know fighters from different countries. Just scroll down to pick the country you want. And looking at Cuba, um, you know fighters right now like your Dennis Ugas is currently number one by box rec. Yanel Dorticas is up there, Luis Ortiz, Rances Bartelomey, Frank Sanchez is on the rise, uh, Sullivan Barrera is on there as well, Mike Perez. You know, a lot of these guys are in their 30s and, you know, they're, they're on their way out. Oh man, David Morrell is on the rise. Oh my goodness, bro. There's just so many great fighters on the... And imagine once, once everybody can turn pro now in, in Cuba. Wow. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Hopefully, 
you know there can be a market as well because at the end of the day at the end of the day you know boxing is a business right um it's all about marketability if, if you can make money hopefully these fighters you know will be able to attract the fans whether they're cuban or not um you know to to drive the sport even better to drive the sport even more in the future to bring more eyes into the sport you know that's the hope and i'm excited i just can't wait i can't wait to see uh what you know this this uh, news will bring and you know now cubans don't have to run away from their country don't have to leave their family and friends to to pursue their dream so <laughs> i'm just excited bro i just can't wait let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks